Okay, another video on using Ubuntu in VirtualBox. So when it comes out, at least when I install my package, this is the largest I could get my screen um, to work at, and that's not really terribly useful. So I want to make this bigger and did a little internet research. Um, and it turns out there are packages that we need to install. So this is one of the differences between running a flavor of Linux and running um, Windows. If you are added features that you want to use, you can install packages, um, assuming that they are provided somewhere through Ubuntu. Um, so, uh, this did not give me what I wanted. There are a couple ways to do this. Um, I'm going to show you the good old fashioned um, command line way. So I'm going to bring up a command line window. I'm going to press Control Alt T. And here comes up the terminal. Okay. Now to install software, um, when you install something, when you install Linux, there are, as a root user, that's created automatically and then you are installed as a user when you signed up. So I was installed as a user Darwin Cook or Darwin um, on my own password but when I did this is also installed a root user and the root user has the ability to make changes that perhaps the root user Darwin doesn't. Um, so I'm, you have to first switch user and then in Ubuntu, the command to get a package is apt-get. We want to install that package. And then doing a little internet research, I found out that the package that I want to install is VirtualBox Guest DKMS. Make sure I got this spelled right. Now, when I hit this, it should say, well, you've already got that installed because, well, I've already been through this, pa this password, been through this process. So, so I already have the newest version. Okay, so we're good there. Now, after you're done with that, um, you have to shut down your virtual box again and go to settings and in display, Mine is, this is not um, highlighted here, so I can't do anything with this because I'm still running my virtual machine. But what you want to do is shut your machine down, come into settings in the VirtualBox Manager, go to display, and make sure that you have at least 17 megabytes um, given to video memory. I've got 18 megabytes. If you don't do this, this isn't going to work. Um, click OK, restart your machine. A machine up and running and magically when you maximize the screen you also maximize now your virtual machine so how handy is that all right the next piece of customization that I want to do is it's nice to we're gonna be we're gonna be using the terminal a lot in Ubuntu so it'd be nice to have it on the launcher on the left hand side um, oh, I didn't click over here Okay, so I press Control alt t again to get a terminal up, and notice that it puts it over here on the left-hand side on the launcher, and if I scroll down, there's the terminal, and I'm going to right-click on that icon, and I'm going to lock it, lock it to the launcher. And now when I close, then I still have a terminal icon. Um, you know what? I don't really want Amazon, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and these other things I guess can stay. By the way, if you uh, need a document processor or a spreadsheet or something like that, well, it's built into Ubuntu. Okay, and then there's one more piece of customization that we need to do, and that is we need to install MySQL. And I shouldn't have closed my terminal because I'm going to do it through there. So I'll bring that up. And it's going to be another sudo. Oh. Okay. Apt get install MySQL 
server. And this will go out and get all the packages necessary to install MySQL and get you the latest and greatest versions. As long as you provide that password. And yes, <laughs> always yes. All right, so that's going to install MySQL. So hopefully after this video, um, oh, we're going to root user password for MySQL. Okay, so if we were doing this for real, you would want this to be a fairly secure password, uh, and you don't want to lose it. So um, I'm going to set a password. And it's going to be the exact same password I'm using to log in to Ubuntu. It's not very secure. I don't care. Go ahead and crack this if you want to. That'll be just fine. Not really an issue. Um, probably a good idea to set it twice. And then we'll let us do its thing. All right, I'm going to pause this, and I'll bring it back up if anything interesting happens. All right, so this is finished running, and when it finished, I click over here in my window. When it finished, I typed in the command sudo netstat dash tap pipe grep mysql. Um, I would have to imagine that very little of that makes any sense of any, any of that. Um, this is, I mean, one way to look at it is this a command that just came up on a Google search for installing MySQL in Ubuntu. Um, and when you hit enter, you should get an output that looks something like this. And if you did, that means that you have MySQL now installed and life is good. If you didn't, uh, don't do that. All right, so in the next videos, we are going to start getting um, some projects going with MySQL. Don't forget that password. You know, I forgot. Um, now that we've got this MySQL installed, it might be time to look at one of the advantages to using a virtual machine. So we've talked about the disadvantage of being slow, and we've, I think, demonstrated the disadvantage of being slow. So I'm going to shut this down. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my machine and look at snapshots. So one of the things with virtual machines is that because this really, this whole operating system machine is just a file, I can ask the virtual manager to take a snapshot of it. Um, and what that means is I can go back to this snapshot. So let's see, what have we done here? We have MySQL installed. So we'll call it MySQL installed. And now I can go and make any changes I want to my machine. And if I screw something up, then I can always come back to this snapshot. So as I progress along and make changes to this, and I know that the changes I've made work and are good, I can update these snapshots. And then if I happen to make a change and I screw something up, I can always revert back to the previous snapshot. So you've seen things similar to this in Windows, probably. Um, and what's going on is Windows is running some sort of um, virtual device manager. Okay, so um, there is an advantage.